Welcome to the fascinating world of dividend investing. But first, what exactly does it mean? Well, let's dive in. Dividend investing is a strategy that revolves around acquiring stocks of companies that regularly pay dividends. That's a portion of profits paid out to shareholders. It's an enticing approach for many investors, and for good reason. Firstly, it provides a steady stream of passive income, in addition to any potential capital gains. Imagine, your investment portfolio could be generating cash even while you sleep. Secondly, dividend investing can contribute significantly to long-term growth. Reinvesting these dividends can compound over time, leading to exponential growth of your wealth. So, we've established that dividend investing is about more than just owning stocks. It's about owning stocks that reward you, quite literally, for your investment. So, dividend investing is about buying stocks that pay you, quite literally, for owning them. But how does it work? Well, keep watching. We're just getting started. Let's delve into the mechanics of dividend investing. Firstly, dividends are a portion of a company's earnings that are returned to shareholders. They are typically declared and paid on a regular basis, usually quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. It's like a thank you note from the company for placing your trust in them. Now, onto the dividend yield. This is a financial ratio that shows how much a company pays out in dividends each year relative to its stock price. It is calculated as the annual dividend per share divided by the price per share. Let's say, for instance, a company pays an annual dividend of $2 per share and its current stock price is $50. The dividend yield would be 4%. A higher dividend yield can suggest a good investment, but it's not the only factor to consider. Now let's talk about the payout ratio. This is the percentage of a company's earnings that are paid out as dividends. It's calculated by dividing the annual dividends per share by the earnings per share. A lower payout ratio could mean that the company is retaining more earnings for growth, while a higher ratio might indicate that the company is distributing more to its shareholders. But remember, a high payout ratio isn't always a good thing. It could also mean the company isn't reinvesting enough in its own growth. So, it's not just about the dividend yield or payout ratio. It's also about the company's performance, its potential for growth, and its financial health. It's about understanding the company's business model, its market position, and its competitive advantages. It's about looking beyond the numbers and reading between the lines. Dividend investing might seem straightforward, but it's not just about picking any stock that pays a dividend. Let's find out why. Choosing the right dividend stocks is a crucial step in this strategy. It's like picking the finest ingredients for your secret recipe. Only with the right mix can you cook up a profitable portfolio. So what makes a dividend stock right? First off, a solid track record. This doesn't just mean a history of paying dividends, but consistent growth in those payments over time. Imagine a runner who not only finishes the race, but improves their time each year. That's the kind of performance you want from a dividend stock. Next, let's talk about the payout ratio. This is the percentage of a company's earnings paid out as dividends. It's a sustainability check. A ratio too high may indicate that the company is not reinvesting enough back into its business. A ratio too low, on the other hand, may suggest that the company isn't sharing enough of its profits with shareholders. You want to find a company with a payout ratio that's just right, like Goldilocks Porridge. Now, on to growth prospects. Healthy growth prospects are as essential as a strong heart. They're an indication that the company has room to expand, innovate, and importantly for us, increase dividend payments in the future. But here's a word of caution. Don't go chasing high yields without considering the company's fundamentals. A juicy dividend yield might be tempting, but remember, it's not just about the size of the slice, but the quality of the pie. A company with shaky fundamentals may not be able to sustain those high dividends, leaving you with a bitter taste. So, picking the right dividend stocks involves a careful balance between yield, growth, and sustainability. Just like a master chef, you need to blend these elements in the right proportions to create a delectable investment dish. Now, what are some common pitfalls to avoid? Let's delve into that next. Like any investment strategy, dividend investing comes with its own set of risks. One of the most common pitfalls is ignoring growth. While it's tempting to chase high dividend yields, it's crucial to consider the company's potential for growth. After all, dividends are only as sustainable as the profits they're paid from. Another pitfall is overlooking payout ratios. 
This ratio tells you what portion of the company's earnings is being paid out as dividends. A high ratio may not be sustainable in the long run, and a sudden cut in dividends can send the stock price tumbling. Moreover, not diversifying your portfolio can make you vulnerable. Spreading your investments across different sectors and companies can mitigate risks. The key to successful dividend investing lies in diligent research and maintaining a long-term perspective. Remember, dividend investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about building a steady stream of income over time. Well, that's a wrap on our journey through the world of dividend investing. We've explored the mechanics, the strategy of picking the right stocks, and even the potential pitfalls. Now it's your turn. What's your take on dividend investing? Do you already have any dividend stocks in your portfolio? If yes, how did you go about choosing them? And if you're new to this, what's your strategy going to be for picking the right dividend stocks? Remember, investing is a personal journey and everyone's approach will be different. Some may prefer a high-risk, high-reward strategy, while others might prefer a more conservative approach. The important thing is to do your homework and make informed decisions. And that's all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and hit that notification bell for more insightful videos like this one. Your support helps us create more content like this. Happy investing!